Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the 3D sketching tool in SOLIDWORKS um, CAD. As it implies, the entities in 3D sketches are not constrained by on, on a single plane, like it is in 2D sketching. This makes applications like lofting and sweeping easier. However, freehand 3D sketching can be very challenging. This video goes over how we can make this challenging process easier. First of all, we're going to start with a part MM template. Once this template is on, in order for me to start a 3D sketch, I will click on the sketch tab and then I click on the pull down menu for sketch and you'll see the option for 3D sketching. Once you select the option, you'll notice that this takes you straight to a sketch mode. Uh, where you have your sketch approval symbols and on your feature manager design tree it shows you where it says um, 3D sketch 1 that means you're actually creating a 3D sketch now now the way this works is I'm going to use my reference planes so at first I've got the front plane which acts as an XY plane the right plane which acts as a YZ plane and the top plane which acts as a ZX plane in order for me to change the planes, I just use the tab key. For example, we're going to start by creating some center lines on the YZ plane. So I'll grab my center line tool and press tab until you know that you selected the YZ symbol, the YZ plane basically. And then we're going to click on the origin and we're going to go vertically upwards on the YZ plane. As I am going upwards on the YZ plane, you'll notice a couple of different symbols on your cursor. The YZ that tells you that you're on the YZ plane, and there's this yellow symbol that says Y. That means you are along the Y axis on the YZ plane. However long you want this line, we'll just make a first click, and then we'll go 90 degrees to the left, and you'll notice the yellow symbol changes to along the Z axis. So you make your second click over here, and then we'll hit escape to get out of our line tool, center line tool. I can grab my smart dimension tool and start dimensioning uh, my reference lines. So we'll keep the horizontal line at three. And we'll keep the vertical line at 3.25. Perfect. So once I have my reference uh, lines created, now I can use either of the endpoints or the origin to kind of create whatever I'm trying to make for my 3D sketches. I'll grab my line tool and I'll start from the end point of the horizontal um, three millimeter line. And I'll uh, start drawing on the XY plane. So I hit the tab command until and unless I see XY on my cursor. And that means I'm on the XY plane. I wanna be able to create a line that's along the X axis on the XY plane. I make my uh, second click to uh, finish the line and then I want to make another line that's about 45 degrees um, from that quadrant, the yellow quadrant, and I want to still be in the XY plane. I click uh, somewhere over here and um, I'm good to go with those two lines. Now let's say if I want to change the plane, I want to create a line that's uh, uh, along the um, in the YZ plane along the Z axis. So I'll hit tab command to change my plane. So this makes the plane uh, to switch to YZ and then I'll create a line that's horizontal along the YZ plane. And you'll notice you see the yellow uh, relationship that says Z on it. So that means you're creating a line that's all along the Z axis. So it doesn't matter what you do to pull or push it, it won't get off the Z axis. I mean, you can go longer and smaller, but um, it would still be on the Z axis. So once I've created these, I'll uh, just uh, hit the escape command. And uh, let me just change this to a, a, a three, uh, sorry, actually a four view orientation so you can see what we've kind of created. Um, perfect. So now as you still uh, uh, see that these we've got some blue lines and uh, some black lines. So the blue lines are underdefined. I want to show you how we can fully define uh, um, a, a 3D sketch using a dimension tool. So uh, I know I have the 3.25 and the 3 millimeter dimension done on my uh, center lines. What I want to do is this long line that I see over here. Um, 
along the x-axis. I want to make that to 10.50. So I'll just use my Smart Dimension tool, click on the line, type 10.50 and hit enter. Once I am done that, I want to make this angle line at about 3.25 millimeter. So same process, Smart Dimension tool. I'll select the line and I'll say 3.25, enter. I also want this line to be about 45 degrees to uh, uh, to the top line. And again, uh, simple dimension, I can select both lines, make sure I go into the correct quadrant, because if I move in different quadrants, it changes the angle. I go in the current qu correct quadrant, and I type in 45 degrees, enter. Perfect. You'll notice there's this point that I can go up and down, I can uh, elongate this, uh, the, the last line that we made along the z-axis. Let's say, since I've got a line and I'm, since I'm playing with multiple planes, I can create a relationship called on-plane relationships. For example, I want that point to never go past this plane. So I'll just select that point and I'll select the front plane and I'll just say, hey, give me an on-plane relationship with it. You notice um, you get a coincident relationship on that. That's basically saying that you, um, uh, it's it's on that plane and it will never be able to pull it out of the plane. So there you go And now uh, this gives you a fully defined sketch and I think we're good um, We can do uh, additional things like adding a sketch fillet to make make things smooth So I'll do that as well. I'll create a sketch fillet and I'll put a two millimeter dimension on this uh, top edge and then I'll put a big, a small dimension, 1.25 millimeter radius dimension on the, this other arc. And um, let's check out the sketch. And perfect, that looks like a good 3D sketch. Um, so these are the steps that you take to create a sketch that's 3D and it's fully defined. First, you start a sketch on, uh, instead of any of the planes, you start a 3D sketch. And then uh, using your references, uh, your reference lines, um, you're able to uh, uh, get a starting point and uh, once you create the 3D sketches you can use your smart dimension tool to uh, you know dimension all the lines and the angles that you've got in your sketch and again the tab key is the uh, the important key over here tab key lets you change uh, the plane that you're designing on or that you're sketching on um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching mm -hmm.